are getting the feeling that McLaren is not a company that likes compromise. When it introduced the 570S Spider, it had the exact same performance as the coupe, and barely weighed any more than the coupe, despite having a retractable top. Now, McLaren is bringing the 570 GT up to 570S performance parity with the Sports Pack. The Sports Pack costs an extra $5,950, which isn't cheap, but shouldn't scare someone willing and able to drop over $200,000 on a car. For that money, McLaren swaps in the 570S Coupe's steering rack, shocks, and stability control and driving mode settings. And now that all 570 GTS get standard carbon ceramic brakes, there shouldn't be much of a difference in driving experience between the GT and S Coupe. Except for the fact that you'll actually be able to bring more than a large wallet with you on the drive. In addition to the sports pack, McLaren now offers an electrochromic glass roof option for the 570 GT which allows the driver to pick the preferred amount of tinting. A number of new color options are also now available on the 570 GT as well as the 570S Coupe. Finally, the entire 570 line now puts the rear view camera display in the instrument cluster, when the camera option is added.